Hello everyone. Today I'm going to teach you on how to use the UiPath recording feature. Now there are a very common mistake that happens even after you are trying to use this and many times it does not work. Right. So today I'm going to let you know why that happens and how do you rectify them. Okay. So today I'm going to in this example I'm going to open a portal uh, using the recording feature wherein it will log in using the login ID and the password and things like that. So uh, overall it's going to teach you uh, how to use it and learn what are the common mistakes that can happen. Okay. So let's get started. Uh, so before you click on recording button ensure you open the browser what you want to open. So for example in this case for our example I am going to uh, open the gmail.com right. So let me sign out in case you have already logged in and I will go to google.com page. So I'm going to remove everything and I need to clear it out because it's a single sign on otherwise it will remember everything. So right now I will go to google.com okay from the beginning and I would teach the bot uh, as to how do it log into the gmail.com and everything okay. So we'll get started. So right now uh, in the background you have to keep the browser open with the right portal you want to open. So first thing first hit on recording button hit on the web because it's a web portal. Okay. Now once you come here many uh, one of the common mistake people do is they hit on record. So that is not the way. The first step is open browser. This is the step number one because it needs to know which browser you wants to open. Hit on open browser and here uh, anywhere on the on the portal you have to just click on the page. The moment you do this this button is supposed to come. If this does not come that means your bot is not going to function. So ensure this pop uh, pop pop out prompt should come out and you need to hit on OK. All right. Now the step number two is you have to hit on record and you need to click on the search bar because this is where I'm going to type. So I'll do that and here I'm going to type it Gmail. Okay. And remember there is some uh, there is a field called empty field. This is required to be checked. This is because anything that you had already typed in previously it's going to remove that and going to type what you have instructed the bot to do. So in this case I am typing Gmail and hit on empty field. The next thing is press enter when you are done. So I am going to hit on enter. So you can see the bot is typing Gmail. Now the next action would be hitting on Google search. So highlight this click on Google search. Good. And this one because our selector is quite accurate we don't have to use the anchor in this example. So I am going to hit on do not show and hit on no. All right. Now this is done. Now the next thing is I need to hit on this particular portal. So highlight this again. Click on it. Okay. Very simple step. Okay. Now in this page again where the highlighter is there you need to click click on it. And here I want to type my Google ID Gmail ID. And again hit on empty field check that box and hit on enter is going to type that so I made a mistake let me redo it empty field and hit enter so it's going to type that and now you need to hit on next and you need to enter the password now while entering the password you have to select this box type password and here I am going to enter the password. So you get the star marks. No one can see what you have typed. Hit on enter. Okay. Now the next action is hit on next. Just wait here. Now you can see the page is going to launch the gmail.com so our job is done from here so I'm going to hit on escape okay once you are done with this hit on escape button and here you have to click on save and exit that's all so we are we have created the bot now let's see this this entire sequence of activities that you see it here starting from open browser it's opening the google.com then it's typing gmail then it's hitting on google search right all these actions that we have done uh, it has been recorded. So this is quite simple. You do not have to um, you know, drag activities from the activity panel to, to the designer panel. This is quite simple. Everything is get recorded. 
so this is why you have to use recording but ensure uh, where to click when to click and all those things okay what i've shown in the video you can replay the video to learn it in an accurate manner but this is how the bot has been created now let's run it and see how it works so before i run ensure because this is single sign on i'm going to sign out again from my gmail.com otherwise it will not do the entire function right so i'm going to sign out and i'm going to remove this account from the browser so i would allow the bot to do everything so i have closed the browser now let's see it now i'm going to hit on debug or run and wait and watch okay so it has opened the browser automatically okay it's quite slow but it's doing yep just wait okay now it's typing my email address enter the password okay wonderful now if I go back to the browser you can see it's taking its time to log in but again the bot has done its job and here we can log into gmail.com okay it's loading all right so this is quite wonderful you can see it so this is how uh, you have created a bot so please replay the video to watch it again and click you know create your own bot if you have any questions or comments please put it in the comment section and I'm, I'm happy to answer them.